love the chase and the hunt And I set the pace when I'm running I always take what I want and I always give it 100 Don't need a bank, no I'm funded Play the game like it's nothing I'm always thankful for something Don't take for granted, stay humble Now we Alright guys, welcome back We're on our last stretch For making this delivery Unfortunately uh, On Friday They closed at noon So Wasn't able to uh deliver same day as planned with the broker but uh the broker didn't understand that they were closed at noon either so i mean stuff happens it's not that big of a deal it does kind of suck but you know i'm about an hour away i could have been like 10 minutes away but friday it got really windy and uh, like the trailers were being blown around, the semis in front of me were being blown around. And I don't have much uh, to get blown around by, but I was fighting the wind. And once I got the call from the broker saying I don't have to deliver today, I was like, well, why am I doing this? You know, an hour difference in the drive isn't gonna make that big of a difference. So here we are, it's Monday, let's get rolling. Let's have a better week than last week and, uh, you know, pray for a, a better day and a better week every day. You gotta remember the prayer. Alright guys, so they're getting everything unloaded off the trailer. And uh, in this warehouse, it's kind of the same process of like chroming, but they're galvanizing. And it's gonna end up looking like that. So, pretty cool, pretty interesting product and service that they're offering. I guess here's some more beans and stuff. Um, it is very nasty, but it's all frozen, so it makes it easy to drive in. But because it's frozen, it's also very bumpy. But I'm doing good. It's like uh, 10 o'clock, and uh, hopefully we can get another load picked up today. All right, guys, we're all unloaded. I did reset this trip uh, so you could see what kind of mileage I was getting because I was idling over the weekend. So about 9.5 miles per gallon. It was a total of 183 miles, which gives us about $2.73 a mile. So this load paid pretty well. I'm doing the lo local run. Um, now uh, let's head back to the truck stop. We're about 11 minutes away. Um, Got to submit some paperwork online for King of Freight. And then uh, we'll go ahead and jump back on and secure ourselves a load. All right, guys. Uh, we got another load from United Rentals. Got a forklift. Uh, first time ever doing a forklift. Um, they told me I could use their ramp but they don't have a steel plate for a transition. So we use my ramps and I was actually able to load it up uh, just barely. Um, this part of the forklift, uh, I just barely grazed as it started going up. And then uh, the ground clearance from here to here is nine inches. So nine inches ground clearance on a standard 10,000 pound or 10,000 rated. This thing weighs 15,000 pounds. That's why it's a little over the axles. Make sure I get proper tongue weight. Um, there were some good hook points in the front behind the tire that I could hook up to. So I got chains on each side on all four corners. Got a strap going over these because it is hydraulic it could bounce around and you just don't want any movement you don't want any reason when you're going over a scale or something to get pulled in and the back here all they had is this one tie down point in the middle but most of the weight on this machine is this back end so uh, this is all like solid or cast steel and it's brand new so i didn't want to scratch it up so i put my blankets around it and then put a chain on in all four corners that way the weights evenly distri distributed and uh it's pulling down equally all the way around i didn't just want one chain 
because one chain is about uh, 7,500 pounds of working weight. And uh, technically I could have done it, but knowing that most of the weight of this 15,000 pound machine is in the back, it's much better to have two chains. Well, let's try to have all four corners. Um, yeah, you know, do what you can. Make sure uh, the load's safe and secure for you. I did uh, take the keys out of the machine because I won't be getting there today. It is uh, about three o'clock now. So I have the keys in the truck. That way no one tampers with it. And uh, you know, just don't want any problems. So all right, let's hit the road. Um, I think we're gonna go find a, a truck stop because the sun's here and it's about to set. And uh, we might have snow tomorrow. So we'll see what the plans are once we get to the truck stop. We'll make a plan. All right, guys, so it's 20 degrees out. It's snowing. Um, it's not icy. Still got a lot of traction. It's really, uh, I don't know, very light snow. But the parking lot's not frozen. But uh, we gotta get on the road. So I'm just doing my uh, pre-trip. <clears throat> checking everything and uh, we're gonna cross over this little uh, mountain pass it's not a very steep mountain pass going into Wyoming and uh, from Idaho do you guys say I love uh, the pre-trip uh, system on this truck it runs the lights for me and makes life way easier to make sure everything's working properly but uh let me uh, get back to this. Just as a side note, I did have to put my winter grill back on because it is not getting above freezing in this area all week. So I put that back on to keep the engine warm and hopefully uh, help improve mile per gallon. Nice morning sunrise. You know, everything does look better with snow on the ground. All right, well, remember what I said about the cold? It says it's five degrees. The truck says it's seven degrees. So either way, it is freezing outside. So, uh, you know, we're going a little bit slower over these windy turns, um, just in case there's black ice. Um, it was supposed to snow. There was about a 50% chance of snow until about 12, so it is, right now so there's still an opportunity for it to snow but so far I've had nothing but a uh, you know a nice clean drive no snow nothing really to worry about but uh because it is so cold and there's not a lot of traffic out here there's not a lot of cars um, I am going a little bit slower than speed limit just to ensure that uh, I arrive to my destination safely all right guys, so we're gonna unload this uh, forklift and I've never loaded one or offloaded one before so I'm gonna get a, a video of it going down so you guys know as long as you have eight inches of ground clearance in the middle of the forklift it will load just fine which is uh, good news because I've turned down three or four forklift opportunities because I didn't think it was gonna work. It has off-road tires too, not those slicks. Yeah. As you can see, you got plenty of ground clearance and gap, so it clears just nice. Like butter. So, if you guys uh, have a forklift opportunity, if it's, you know, one like this, you know, some of them do have really low ground clearance, so you gotta, you know, ask the broker or get some measurements, but now you know. You can unload them and load them. It was really simple and easy, and uh, this was 600 bucks for a day trip. All right, guys, we're at the truck stop. I wanted to let you know the mileage. 255 miles, the average seven miles per gallon. 
it paid 600 bucks so that's two dollars and 35 cents so let's try to get a load for tomorrow and uh keep on going